All right, guys. You know, when you talk about building to finish and thinking ahead to finish, this is a prime example. Now, my buddy Carl Letts built this and for his daughter. And it's a display case. But if you look at it and you start thinking about it, to finish this is a nightmare. Look at it, particularly with a spray gun. The access in here, you're not going to get a cup gun in there. You're, you know, under here, under here, in between these small areas, it's just not going to happen. Now, in this case, this one has to be dyed and finished. Now, again, trying to get in here and wipe all of this with a dye, very, very difficult. So this is where we do some pre-finishing. And if you take a look, everywhere there you see the blue tape right here, that joint is not connected. Now this is built with loose tenon. Use a domino on it. Anyway, so what's going to happen is we're going to take this apart, concentrate on getting the interior finished, put it together, glue it all up, then we're going to come back and deal with the outside and the face frame on it. Now the reason on the face frame is we want to get it together so we can then sand the whole face frame. So this is pretty unique in how it's got to be finished. I want to emphasize, if this, was, this is cherry, if you were going natural cherry and you wanted to use something like a good oil, a good varnish oil, then you could do that. You could wipe it. You know, you, you can get in access to everything wiping, but you're not going to do it with a spray gun. The other issue that we have is when you see this going on, you're going to see me soaked. It is, this is mid-July and it is hot back here. Now that brings up another issue, we're going to be using a water-based dye. And doing that, water-based dyes, any of them, dries fast. It doesn't dry as fast as an alcohol. Trying to do this in this heat with an alcohol-based dye, unless you were just spraying it, would be very difficult. You'd probably need a lot of alcohol to get it done. Um, so you're going to see how, how we go about doing it. Again, this is one of those things that you just got to stop and think about, how am I going to do that? How am I going to get into this? What am I going to do? Just think about it. So we're going to tear it apart, and you'll watch what happens from there.